G'day sports lovers, Robbo here, and it's time for another edition of... And today's star is another member of the Aussie Women's Quarter Mile Club, but she also runs a mean bend, and here she is winning one of her many Nationals medals from the last few weeks. We are underway, Thornton getting a great start to the home straight, and Jess Thornton has a big lead and she's strong as she comes in here, O'Grady holding down second, the long striding coats trying to fight back, but Jess Thornton... So there she was winning everything at the Junior Nationals over in Perth. She's even started to scalp some of the senior girls now. She's booked her ticket on the bus to Bidgosh, the world under-20s champs in Poland. She's effectively on the plane to Rio in the women's 4x400 relay. But she's not done yet. Please jump out of your chairs and go absolutely crazy for Jess Thornton. So get your questions ready to ask Jess Thornton. Send them directly to us via Snap right now and we'll pick the best ones to ask Jess. So welcome to the show, Jess. Thanks so much for coming on board. Why don't you kick things off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Robbo, for that lovely introduction. Oh, you did so well there and on point right there. Yeah, so my name's Jess Thornton. I'm a 400 and 200 runner. Um, I've represented Australia at the Youth Olympics and I won gold in the 400. I recently won the juniors in the two and the four and made it to the plane to Poland for the world under 20s, which I'll be competing in the 400 and the 4x4 relay. Also ran at the Opens last weekend against Morgan Mitchell and Annie Ruby and came second. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that I'm announced for the Rio team later in July. 17 years old, birthday in four days, so everyone party hard for me. Woo! <laughs> well, thanks, Jess. I can tell you the partying is well underway for the big birthday coming up. And I can also tell you there's loads of questions coming through. In fact, I think we're about to break Snapchat. There's that many. And we're going to get to some of those shortly. But I want to know about your journey from a young athlete to being on the cusp of running at an Olympic Games. Well, that's exciting. Breaking records on Snappy. Go team. Well, it's been pretty basic, I guess. Just going from little athletics to senior club and then from juniors into opens kind of thing. It's just been that progress. But then I guess the journey would just be like the highs and the lows, the ups and downs of what happens in between, winning, losing races, and then I guess the social side. But from running from little athletics to then potentially an Olympic Games, obviously completely different. Um, I guess having the experience of running international for the Youth Olympics and then also the Continental Cup for the 4x4 team, um, it, it sort of helps and plays a part. So overall, like, I haven't really done anything, like, completely different. I just started from the bottom and now we're here. Hey Jess, Mossy here. Hope you're having a good one. I'll tell you what, there's so many questions from the fans. We'll have to pose them shortly. But before we do that, Lukey Matthews sends a massive shout out and says he's your biggest fan. And for all you Lukey Matthews fans, great news. He's coming on Snapping with the Stars early next week. But first, it's my question. I'd like to know, what's your nickname? What do people call you? Who gave you the nickname? Yeah, all right. Thanks, Lukey, all the way from LA, and you're still supporting me. Yeah, that's definitely number one. Well, this is Stefo, guys, Hello. my sister. <laughs> She's um, 22 and single, so all you single men out there, get on it. <laughs> get amongst. <laughs> well, obviously, my name's Jessica, so nickname <laughs> would be <laughs> Jess. But, um... Yeah, I used to always say Jesso. <laughs> Jesso, apparently. <laughs> but um, I always used to say Jessica and just leave the I because I just I'm lazy. So most people call me Jessica now. Um, just I guess to make fun of me too. Hey everyone, it's Benno here. He's um twenty, nearly twenty one, and um he's single too. So all you ladies out there, get amongst. <laughs> oh yeah, quickly, that's my brother too. By the way, I forgot to mention that sister and brother. <laughs> you. I'm absolutely spewing. Your sister looks smoking hot, but I'm taken. Sorry. Next question is from Mr. Ned Weatherly, and he says, G'day, what's your goals for the World Under-20s Championships in Big Gosh in July? And who is your favourite thrower? Hmm, I wonder why he said that. Maybe it's because he's a thrower. Huh. Oh, thanks, Ned, for the question. Um, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it yet. I guess we'll just see how I prepare for Big Gosh. I guess for me, anything 
really is fine. Like just making the team is my goal, and then anything after that is just a bonus. So, um, yeah, like I said, like I said before, it's just whatever happens, happens, and yeah, I don't really have a goal. But um, if I did, like I guess obviously final would be the best. Also, best thrower. Mm, he's from Melbourne. He's eighteen. You know what? It's got to be Nettles, Ned Weatherly. You got it. You're my best thrower. Nice one, sister. I said, nice one, sister. Next question is from Yana, who asks, how did you get started in athletics? Good question, Yana. Um, I started off in little athletics when I was about eight years old. Mate, I just continued it ever since and just loved it and kept going and... I'm here now in under 20s and also opens and it's growing great. Rocket Rowan asks, what's the hardest track session you've ever done? Tell us, where was it? What did you do? And did you spew? The hardest track session will probably be trying to chase this one around. Kenny! Oh, hey yo, look, this way. Kenny. More seriousness. Um, there's been a few hard ones. Um, I haven't really thrown up lately except for after actual competition races. There was one where there was uh, three, four hundreds with a little rest. That was pretty tough. Um, I've had ones we, I've had a 500 before. Ugh. And then leading into China back in 2014, I was doing three hundreds with like a two minute rest into a 200 fast and then a massive break. And even block sessions are pretty hard. It just depends with the intensity that I go at and how fast I'm actually willing to run and if I get my target times. Mm. I've got a new segment. It's called Show Us Your Medals. So I want you to find and get your Youth Olympics gold medal, pop it on and tell us about that experience. Talk us through the race and what it was like after. A bit messy, but this is the Fan Bam's trophy and um, medal collection. Yeah, very, very sporty and competitive we are. But sad to say that my youth link medal has now been framed, so I can't touch it or hold it or put it on anymore. But I'll show you the masterpiece. Here we have the frame collection, the scroll I got, the winning medal, and a couple of photos to um, show you the experience. So the Youth Olympics, oh my god, what an experience. Couldn't believe it when I crossed the line and I beat that by rain chick. <laughs> Started off good in a back straight, felt a bit tired and negative thoughts going through, but then I changed around on that last bend. And then the home straight, I just went. Green at the um, end of the 100 and I could see someone coming on what I thought was my inside, but cameras are reversed, so it was actually my outside. And when I saw her come on my side through my peripheral vision, I actually screamed out no. And then I just put my arms and kept pushing and I just got over the... Mama, take this gold medal from me. Put it in a frame, hang it on the wall. Yeah, you can find that it's on my new album. It's about a girl called Jess Thornton who had a gold medal and uh, got it framed and hung it up on the wall. It's a beauty. Sounds like a helicopter. This one's from the Shellycopter, and he says, is Kathy Freeman's record still on your mind, and how far are you off it? Beautiful singing there, Mossy. I'll definitely be buying that album and listening to it all the time. It's fantastic. Question, Shellycopter. Um, yeah, definitely will be a goal to try and crack that in, in the next couple of years. My PB is 52.33, and the under-20 or her under 20 record is 51-14, so I'm a little off, but hopefully can get Hi Jess, Robbo back again. Got a question in from Rowan Browning, who's not feeling very well. He says, show us your dog. Now, I know you've already shown us your dog, but can you tell us your dog's name, and can I please introduce you to my dog, Bella, the official mascot for Snapping with the Stars. Yo, say hello, do you want to play tug of war? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Yo. Where are you this way? Where are you going? You can't walk inside. What are you doing? Say hi, Mum. Shake. High five. Yay. 
you drop. Drop. Go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? Roll over. All the way. Keep going. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright Jess, well you've done so well on snapping with the stars tonight, I'd now like to make a very special announcement. In honour of everything you've achieved, not only here tonight but also in your entire athletics career, we've done something amazing for you up here in Newcastle. We've gone and named a train station in your honour. Let's have a look. Hamilton, Waratah, Warrabrook, Sandgate, Hexham, Tarot, Beresfield, Thornton. Righto Jess, it's that time of the show where we need to ask you about your dream competition. You know how it works. So, if you could race anyone, past or present, who would it be and where would you do it? Hmm. To be honest, I haven't really thought of a dream event. I guess just the dream has just always been Olympics. But if I had to choose right now, I'd take it back to where it all started and let's go to Greece for a dream race with Alison Felix because she's a legend right now. Well that sounds perfect Jess, we're taking Jess Thorne and Alison Felix back to 1896 to Athens to be the first women to ever compete at a modern Olympic Games. They didn't let chicks in the first time round, bastards. Well we're going to wind it up there folks, so thanks so much everyone who's sent a question in tonight to ask Jess. Sorry if we haven't got to yours, but Jess, can you tell everyone where they can follow you on Snap and all the other socials, including uh, Instagram and now even Twitter, so you can hit Jess up there to ask your question to her yourself. And of course, don't forget to send her a big happy birthday for Tuesday the 12th of April, 18. Well, there you go, folks. All done for another episode of Snapping with the Stars. A huge thanks to Jess Thornton and her family members for joining in tonight. And stay tuned for the next episode of Snapping with the Stars.